finding slope. This is an idea that goes through algebra, intermediate algebra, precalculus, calculus. So for slope, you subtract the two y values, y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1. Or another way to look at it is you subtract. And I'm going to subtract in this direction. So it's going to be a 1 quarter minus 1. And then you have to be consistent. The arrow goes that direction. I have to do the same thing with the x's. The arrow has to go this direction. So a 1 sixth minus a 2 thirds. So here we are with compound or complex fractions. So we need to reduce the top and reduce the bottom. So you could get a common denominator on this one. This would be a, a 1 is equal to 4 over 4. So it would be 1 quarter minus 4 quarters. For this one, the common denominator would be 6. And so I could multiply by 2 on the top and the bottom. So this is going to be 1 sixth minus 4 sixth. And then continuing over here, so 1 quarter minus 4 quarters is negative 3 quarters. When you have compound or complex fractions, the main fraction bar in the middle, you should make it really big to emphasize that that's the one on the top and that's the one on the bottom. When people have compound or complex fractions and they just go like this, uh, 5 ninths divided by 3 seconds, that is really hard to tell. Does that mean 5 divided by 9 that got divided by 3 that got divided by 2? Or does that mean 5 ninths got divided by 3 halves? So it's best to make that middle fraction bar really clear. All right, now I need to finish up this. So 1 sixth minus 4 sixths is going to be negative 3 sixths. And then, for one thing, a negative divided by negative is positive. Those are going to cancel. Another thing is to divide two fractions. You leave the first one alone, 3 quarters, and then invert and multiply. So make this one 6 over 3 and then multiply. And then this one's going to reduce a lot because the 3's can cancel each other out. 3 divided by 3 is going to be 1. And then with a 6 and a 4 they're both even so divide by 2, divide by 2. So finally the slope is 3 halves. And it's positive, which means that the line is going up in this direction. And a slope of 3 halves positive means you start at a point, go up by 3, and then go to the right by 2. And then that would be another point on the line. So it's at about this angle. That's what slope is telling you how steep the line is.